Hey guys, what's up? Northern Light Seer here. Um, so I wanted to get this message out to you guys. It's a very persistent energy that it just keeps coming up and it keeps coming up and keeps coming up offline. And so I just, you know, maybe if I put it out there to the collective, that's maybe that's why maybe that's why it keeps it so persistent because it needs to go out and so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this video and let's see what happens the energy I'm getting is there's masculines out there that I feel like that they have gone through some kind of tower moment something has happened this shift that we all are experiencing, everybody is experiencing the shift in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like for those of us that have done the work on ourselves and we are gracious and, and express our gratitude and we're, and, and we're co-creating with the divine, okay, it's our turn to receive our blessings. For everyone else that goes against the flow, treats people poorly, okay, those types of people, the shift is affecting them as in they're getting their karma. I feel like they're, I feel like Saturn and Pluto and all these transits are working together and the, uh, on the uh, on the other side of the scale I feel like they're getting taken down through there they're being made to actually look at what they how they live their life and how they how they treat people and I feel like something happened I feel like they've had a massive epiphany a major aha moment I just saw 222. Been seeing that number a lot. So I've been really studying up on the Lenormans. And I like the Lenormand because it is very straightforward and to the point. So I went ahead and pulled out my Gilded Reverie Lenormand by Ciro Marchetti. And the first card out was the letter. It, it, there's massive return energy. Someone is wanting, someone that blocked you out, pushed you away, ran away, left you out in the cold, treated you poorly, all of the things is wanting to return back into your life. We have a letter. This is a communication. Someone, but somebody wants to talk. Somebody is about to send a message. Someone's about to call. Some take it what you know. However, it comes through. This also could be sending tel a heavy telepathic communication. But with this quill here. I feel like there's a lot of thought and care being put into this communication. There, because the quill, you you know, you have to have you you have to take your time when you're working at writing with a quill. So I feel like this these masculines are wanting to communicate, and they're putting a lot of thought into what it is that they're going to say. Now, the, this Lenormand has two masculine cards as well as two feminine cards. Both of the masculine cards came out and not one feminine. So this is a heavy, heavy masculine energy. In this masculine card, he's wearing like a red cloak, bearing his chest. He's wearing his Mars pendant. Okay, and I feel like 
I get, I'm getting an egoic kind of read on this one here because of the Mars pendant there. Uh, it's like a, it's like a power kind of energy, but I feel like He's bearing his chest, and so he wants people to think that he's strong and, and so powerful and in control, right? But then you have this mask card right here. And I feel like that he was, this masculine was masking What's really what he really feels like inside his true feelings. He he's trying to cover up how he feels inside his true emotions. It's like he was. It's like he was taught that way to shove his emotions down, because then you've got the fish. Now fish in the Lenormand is all about resources and abundance and wealth. But it's the very, it's the deepest depths of the ocean. And so I feel like these masculines have shoved all their, all their emotions down, which could be considered a resource to help to guide you through your day to day. I feel like. I feel like these masculines were masking their true emotions with ego. But they're putting a lot of thought into this communication that is that wants to come through. This was the first card out. That tells me that this is like the this entire reading is revolving around this message, this communication. And then you have the bridges. Somebody's wanting to bridge the gap, close the gap. There's a distance between the two of you. And they're wanting to Bridge the gap. That's what I'm getting here. Now there's two bridges. There could be more than one way. They could be, that could be part of this, all this thought that they're putting in is which, which bridge should I take? Which they might have a couple of options that they are. I just saw 808. They could have a couple of bridges that they're contemplating taking to close this gap. They might have a couple of strategies here. And then you've got this, the labyrinth. Okay. So this is, I feel like they're in the labyrinth of their mind. They're trying to figure out a way to get to the end. They're trying to find a way to find their way through all these thoughts and, and sorting through their emotions. And then right at the center is a feminine with the peace doves around her. And this looks like a shelter. Shelter from the storms. You are, you, okay, I get protection here. There's a man here and there's two other females. I feel like he has maybe try attempted to replace your energy in an attempt to try and block your energy out. I feel like this masculine tried to push you away and push and block this connection so hard. Try and then trying to cover it up or move on with other people and that didn't work out you're still at the center of his mind
there's it's like a maze it's like you can take a wrong turn and get to a dead end this turn could be the wrong way there's only one way to get through one and you have to strategize and and be smart to find your way through And then the, this masculine card came out. Now he's sitting on the edge of a stool and he's got his shirt on and he's holding a rose and he looks, he looks kind of hopeful like he's waiting for something. This one looks kind of stern and He's kind of got his eyebrow cinched down, you know, he, he, he doesn't look like, um, he doesn't look like, he's looks like he's trying to be strong, tough, tough guy. This one, I feel like something has humbled them. Something has happened. There's been a tower somewhere in this masculine's life because he's got his shirt on now and he's holding a rose and it looks like he's waiting. It, it looks kind of like he's got this kind of look on his face like, um, I think I fucked up. And he's kind of like on the edge of his seat. He has no shoes on. I feel like he's trying to connect, you know, to Mother Earth, keep himself grounded. Trying to find solid footing. And then out come the mountain. The mountain is all about obstacles and blockages and challenges to overcome. I feel like the blockage and the obstacle and the barrier, the challenge to overcome that is the distance and that they pushed they pushed you away so hard and so far and ran so far. And now I think they've had some kind of epiphany, some kind of aha moment, some kind of tower, something humbled these masculines. And now they're looking at this mountain that they have to climb because they do have love in their heart with that rose. This is the... That's the emotions and the love that they tried to push down and cover up with these masks. I feel like this person had many faces. I'm picking up Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde energy. You didn't know who you were going to encounter day to day. They would be one way one day. And then another way the next day. Or they would show you, they would treat you one way while you guys were alone. And then another way while you were around people or out in public. Whatever it is. All I know is that it wasn't consistent. And then you've got the cross card. And as soon as it came out, I heard this is their cross to bear. And so with this mountain and this cross, with this labyrinth right all around him, this is something that he has got to figure out. And these bridges, this is something that he's got to figure out. It's his cross to bear. It's his mountain to climb. It's his burden. I feel like this masculine made a big old mess. And he doesn't know what to do to clean it up. Because 
he does have love in his heart for you. It's like I'm hearing that song. Uh, wishing you'd come sweeping in like you did before. What song is that? Hold on. I'll, okay, I will post it on my community tab. I just heard it, it, he's waiting. Wishing you'd come sweeping in like you did before. Those is, that's a, one of the lyrics. And I wonder if I ever cross your mind. For me, it happens all the time. It's a kid rocking a Cheryl Crow song. I'll post it. They're waiting. It's like they, it's, if you're feeling someone else's energy, if you can feel this person's energy, you know that it is persistent. That I mentioned that telepathic communication for a reason. It's their cross to bear. It's their burden. They made this mess. They, okay, they pushed this mountain up. In between. Okay, they created this gap. They created this distance. They're the ones that pushed this mountain up in between you guys. It's up to them to figure out how to resolve the problem. It's their cross to bear. And they're putting a lot of thought into this communication. A lot. They covered up how they really felt. Because both of these masculines, they have the Ace of Hearts. Okay, that represents the Ace of Cups. Love. Yeah, look. Bottom of the deck. Seven of Wands. A blockage. Person, you, you could have blocked this person. This person could have blocked you. But I feel like this person was defensive. They didn't want anything getting close to their heart. They, they, I feel like they felt defensive and I feel like they pushed you away before you could hurt them. They hurt you before you could hurt them. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. There's that, this is also that aha moment, an epiphany. Clarity with the eagle. Seeing clearly. Something humbled these masculines. Somebody, something humbled this masculine energy. Look at him. Waiting. It's like you're on this ship. You're on that ship. And I feel like they're waiting, waiting for you to come sweeping in like you did before. 
And I feel like you're not. You're over here minding your own business. Trying to get on with your life. You can only push someone away so far before, you know, before they just go their own way. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You know your worth. You know your value. You're not, and you're not going to fight long for, you're not going to fight for someone that just wants to push you away. You bring a lot to the table. You have a lot to offer. And this person was defensive, pushed you, pushed it away, didn't want it. Why? Because fear, fear of getting hurt. I feel like this person's been hurt before. One more shuffle. There's a shift. Look at this. This is a karmic soul tie. Meaning there is this connection is a soul tie and it's a strong, intense one. And there's been a shift here. I just heard the tables have turned. This is a destined connection. This is a soul tie. Deep soul bond. It's undeniable. This is why this connection, no matter how much distance they try to put in between, and how many mountains they try to push up. And how many blockages, how far, how hard, how far they push. Or how, how hard they push and how far they run. You're still at the center of their mind. They can't get you out of their head. The tables have turned. Ten of Cups. This has potential. Ten of Cups. Cozy, happy, warm. You're the catch with this Nine of Pentacles. You're the day, you are the catch. And they pushed it away. They pushed you away. Something has humbled this person. Got the star card. Somebody wants to heal this. I feel like you were vulnerable with this person. Okay, you expressed your feelings. And I feel like it scared a shit out of them. And they tried to deflect putting on a mask, cover up their emotions, but they're there, look. They've got a rose. Okay, there's love there. They have emotions for you.
Okay. Yeah, the moon. I feel like this last eclipse, this last moon that we had, this last full moon eclipse, did something. Something's coming up out of the depths of the water here. This last lunar eclipse we had created a change. Nine of Wands. I'm getting a defeatist attitude, uh, energy here. They're tired. They're tired. They're feeling defeat. Wow. Got the Seven of Pentacles. There's your energy right there. Okay, like I said, you're just over here minding your own business, staying in your lane, doing your thing, harvesting your blessings. Something humbled this masculine. Something has changed. And the tables have been turned with the Death card and the Three of Swords. It's them that are feeling the pain now. Eight of Cups. I feel like this is you walking away. You're walking towards your sunshine. You're walking towards your light. We got the Four of Swords. What I'm getting from this is I feel like they're thinking, putting a lot of thought. Okay, it's quiet right now. It's very quiet. And I feel like you kind of laid this to rest when you walked away. And that was a change that they didn't expect. You utilize this lunar eclipse to eclipse this connection out of your world, out of your life. And that is so that you could focus on what's important to you. And I feel like they feel it. They're getting taken down through there. This change, they're feeling it now. The tables have been turned. You walked away, and so it's quiet now. I feel like they're sleeping a lot. They're tired. But they're also thinking a lot about this Knight of Swords, this communication. How are they going to come in? How are they going to, how are they going to communicate how they feel? Which, which, which option are they going to choose? What are they going to say? They're putting a lot of thought into this. Four Cups. They know that they blocked off and threw away an opportunity. They missed an opportunity because they couldn't be real. They decided to put on a mask to cover up their feelings with ego. They wanted to be in control. I just heard 
They accidentally fell in love. They accidentally fell in love. It was a divine meeting. Nobody meets on it by accident. You guys were brought together by the divine. It was a faded connection with lessons attached to it. You guys were brought into each other's lives to teach each other. And I feel like you learned a lot from this connection too. It taught you to value yourself. To not let anyone diminish your self-worth and your dignity. It also opened up a channel between you and the divine. With this falcon right here. This person... The tables have turned. All this pain and exhaustion that you felt, the tables have turned. That's the change. And the death card is falling right underneath the wheel of fortune. This was a destined change. This had to happen. And something has humbled this person. And all they can think about is how they're going to bring forth this communication. They could be, I'm getting, okay, Page of Swords. They could be watching, keeping tabs on you. Got the Nine of Cups, okay. With the page of cups. There's the, there's an apology right there. This nine of cups. I feel like. With this eight to the nine to the ten. Okay. We've got a progression here. progression it's forward progress things are coming along i feel like they're in the four cups and you're over here in the nine of cups focused on your wish fulfillment harvesting your blessings smiling again Okay, you stopped fighting for someone that stole your smile. And here's them. They're in this energy right here. Contemplating, thinking, debating in the labyrinth in the labyrinth of their mind. Trying to figure out why you are at the center of their mind and how they can, they're trying to figure out how they can get there. He's got a long ways to go. And there, okay, there might be some distractions around. There might be other people in his energy. But it looks like he's on his own path. Okay, and headed a different direction. These ladies, they're going this way. He is headed the other way. He's trying to get here. I feel like he's... I feel like anyone that he has tried to, to get over you with, okay, it's not working. You can't find this energy just anywhere.
And he knows he missed an opportunity, a blessing from the divine. These three cups here, that's these options. These other options, he don't want it. He's looking at this one. He wants the cup that he can't have. You don't know what you got till it's gone. Okay. That's the energy we've got. I feel like this person didn't know what they had until it was gone. Until you said enough is enough. And you harness the power of that eclipse. They felt it. Oh, they felt it. There, This nine of wands is at the heart. It's at the very center of the spread. They're tired. They're, this is that, this defeated. Okay. Getting taken down through there. Humbled. There's a compass on this card. Trying to find their way. We got a king of swords and a king of pentacles with a ten of swords in between. This person could be an air sign, could be an earth sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be, but that's what's here. Sun or moon, sun, moon, or rising with ten swords. They know that they were the demise. They self-sabotaged this. They tied their own hands. They're the ones that are hanging their head. Then there's the Eight of Wands. They're the ones that are, okay, they want to communicate. And we've got at the top of the deck, we've got the Five of Pentacles with the Five of Swords. Got the Ten of Pentacles here. Here's what they could have had. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. But instead, they have five Pentacles. Loss, lack, out in the cold. Because of self-sabotage. Five of Swords. I'm telling you. And fuck shit with the Seven of Swords. They put on the masks. To cover up their sneaky, behind the scenes, lies. I just heard lie after lie after lie after lie. Around every corner. This is a sneak. They self-sabotaged this divine union. You've put a lot of work on yourself. Eight of Pentacles with a star. 
And so you are receiving your blessings from the divine. That big tree, okay? Here you are, standing under your tree. Because you're, okay, you're putting in your work. You're cleansing and balancing and healing yourself. You have a completely different energy. Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles. Okay, another progression. Seven, eight, nine. We also have the ten. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Because you have the ace. You are going to have the Ten of Pentacles no matter what. Yeah, King of Cups on the cut. There it is. Look at this. Look at this. All up in their fields. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups. All they had to put on many different masks. Had, they had to. Sh they had many different faces to cover up all these emotions. And look, there's fish. Okay, deep, deep emotions. The emotions that they shoved way down there. way down there let's get another deck out look at this shit i just i can't even make this up the queen of cups was on the bottom right out the box and i cut it to the queen or the king of cups an energetic match And look, I'm telling you, that's Saturn right there. Saturn is the lesson bringer. Saturn is the teacher. Saturn is in Pisces, a water sign. Saturn is kicking his ass, I'm telling you. Something happened with this moon. This lunar eclipse we just had. Wow. Wheel of Fortune. There's that shift. Okay. And again with the planets. There's more planets here. More planetary transits. Jupiter is about to go into Taurus. And look at this. There's the sun. More planetary activity. I'm telling you. Okay. All these transits. It's the universe bringing things back into alignment. And it's all done in perfect order. King of Pentacles. Okay. I'm telling you, that moon looks like it's eclipsing. I, okay, I can't even make this shit up. He's already out here.
I feel like this lunar eclipse, something happened in their life that humbled them. And now they know that they missed an opportunity that they pushed back, that they pushed away for God knows why. They had emotions. They had feelings. I think they were scared of getting hurt. And so they had to hurt you first. And now... Two of Pentacles with the Page of Wands. What do I do? What do I do? Wh which, which bridge do I take to bring this communication? And they stressing. Look at that with the Nine of Swords. Seven of Cups. I feel like they're overwhelmed. Wow. They're overwhelmed. Working through this labyrinth of their mind. I feel like they're nine of swordsy because they can't get you out of their mind. And this is, okay, this is exactly the energy that keeps showing up on my desk offline. There you are again. Nine of Pentacles, okay? In the Seven of Pentacles. I can't even, look at this, you guys. Look at this shit. Spirit is literally cross-checking everything. Here you are, okay? Harvesting your blessings. Why? Because you put in the work. Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. With the Queen of Pentacles. Look at this shit. Another match. We've got the King and Queen of Cups. And now the queen, king and queen of pentacles. You are working on elevating yourself. Self-love. And look, lunar phases. The moon. Wow. I'm telling you, this masculine got hurt by someone else. A queen of wands. Someone that, queen of wands don't give a shit about people's feelings. They'd been hurt before. And so they put up their barriers and pushed, pushed this connection away. Maybe they, oh, maybe they weren't quite over Maybe they weren't over it. You guys could have worked together. Three of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You guys could have worked together and put your heads together. Teamwork. Okay. And gotten to this Ten of Pentacles. I did see the Ten of Cups in this deck before I shuffled. It's gone now. But this person chose to be in Seven of Swords energy. A sly fox. This person chose the, to lie every chance they got. Sneak. Not being honest. Untrustworthy. Unfaithful. Not loyal. Oh my God. The energy 
is seriously cross-checking itself. Five of Swords with the Nine of Wands. They sabotaged this connection and they're feeling it. They know something humbled this person. These some Something humbled this masculine. And now, see, look, there's that Knight of Swords. Okay, that they put a lot of thought into right there. How can I fix this? They're trying to figure out how they can fix it. How can I start a new passionate beginning with the Two of Cups? My soulmate. Ooh, this person knows you're a soulmate. They held their energy back from you. There's the Empress right there. They had it to give. They just chose not to. There's the planet Venus right there. Venus is getting ready. Venus is in Taurus right now. This energy is... The Empress is ruled by Taurus. Taurus is ruled by Venus. You are thriving right now. Especially if you're a Taurus. You don't have to be. If you're in your Empress energy, you're thriving. But if you're, in it, if you're a Taurus, it is your season, baby. <clears throat> Jupiter is getting ready to move into Taurus this week. Which I'm going to do a reading on. Jupiter is all about success, prosperity, luck, abundance, fortune. For an entire year. There's the Ten of Cups right there. Holy shit. I was just looking for it. We've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in this deck. And we've got the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups in this deck. Divinely led, divinely guided by a higher, higher power. Something humbled these masculines. Something happened. Yeah, look at this. It's definitely their energy that's in the four cups. They're under judgment. Judgment is also about resurrection, second chances. I'm telling you. There's the tower with the Ten of Wands. Something is, okay, something happened that created this burden, this cross to bear. I just saw 53, 53. Those break down to eights. Something occurred that create that made this masculine wake up. It was in it, it humbled them. It was epiphany. Something went down in this masculine's life. Or is currently going down. Suddenly, too. Blew his socks off. Like just blew him out the water. Okay. Blew his ass out the tower. He's naked here, and he's naked here. Whatever it is, it's made him extremely vulnerable. Yeah. It's, gee, look at this shit. It's the justice. It's, it's justice coming through because these seven of wands blocked off this lover's connection. 
It's universe bringing things into alignment, balancing the scales. This masculine threw everything way off scale, way off. The scales were like this. And so the universe is creating these transits, is doing this to bring things back into balance. Boom. Yeah, this change. <laughs> They're the K. Okay, they this death, this death and rebirth cycles got them hung. Like they, they're hung up. They're stuck in their own chains. What the only thing that can break the chains is the truth. And I feel like that's what this message is about. They have to tell the truth. And that is why it's so damn heavy. Damn. Holy crap. Look at this. There's that Four of Swords energy. Oh. There's that Four of Swords energy, okay, right here, about how to bring in this Page of Cups, this apology, which already came out here, another double confirmation. This shit is blowing my mind, yo. Yeah, they're sitting, they're doing a lot of thinking about this, all this nonsense that they've created. They've been humbled. I feel like they're spending a lot of time by themselves thinking about some shit. Damn. Wow. Um, let's see. What do you want me to get, spirit? Let's get the secrets of the hidden heart and then we'll close. Yeah, look, there you go. Moving on. Okay. You're moving on. And look at this. Telepathic vibrations. I'm fucking telling you. They're trying to send their energy after you. They're, they're trying to stop you energetically from walking away. That's why this energy is so persistent. They're bored. Okay. They're also intimidated. Okay, look at them. There you go. And they're reaching out after you. They're trying to, they're intimidated by you. They see you walking away. And they're re, okay, they don't, they, okay, I feel like they pushed and pushed and pushed you away because that's how they maintain their control, their power. And then when you decided that enough is enough and you actually walked, they're like, oh no. Okay. I don't feel like they, I feel like they thought that you would never leave. And I feel like that they thought that at, you would always be there. And that you would always just come back at their beck and call. This, okay. I feel like that was part of their tower. 
was when you said, enough's enough, I'm done. This has gone on too long. Yeah, there's that denial. Okay, there's this mask refusing to admit their feelings. Escaping, pushing away, avoiding and dodging, okay, their feelings, but oh, they're there. Look, there's unexpected confessions here, an unveiling. There's this moon I'm telling you it created some, it changed something. Okay. Withdrawn, single, solitary. Okay, I'm telling you. They're bored. They're by themselves. They're walking by any of these other options that come across that come that come by them. They're not interested. Enticing. Okay. They're you they're drawn to you and they're hung up, holding on. They're holding on to your energy. Sending out, tell, com, sell, sending out communication vibrationally, telepathically as you are walking away. They don't, she looks like she's in a wedding dress kind of. I feel like, okay, they don't want you to get swept up by someone else. Because they know you're the fucking catch. Yeah, look, fresh start. A new beginning. And again, with the illuminate, with the truth, honest, clarity. They're going to have to come through with honest, truthful communication. This was the first card out to the last. And that just wraps it all up. And that's where I'm going to leave it. This goodbye broke their heart. If this, is, if this isn't your story, don't take it. But for a lot of you, I feel like this is the energy. I don't need to know about... All the terrible things this person did. Okay, if it's not your story, it's not your story. Leave it for someone else, please. I, I would greatly appreciate that. But this energy here has been hitting my desk for days. I love you guys. I'm going to get off of here. I wish you the best. Be prepared. If you're feeling this energy, okay, you're, you listen to your gut. Always listen to your intuition. Always. And trust it. I love you guys. Peace, love, and light.